Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. So first up we have two incredible miniatures from this Orc commission which has been completed by Rich, one of the artists here at Siege. Uh, Gazgol Thraka, the man, the monster, the legend himself and uh, Makari as well, his faithful friend and banner carrier. Uh, these guys have been fighting all day as to who wants to go on camera first so I do apologise but we are going to start with Makari as I think he's an awesome little miniature, a cheeky little chap uh, and uh, Gaz's right hand grot so to speak. Um, really really awesome model, you'll see all the little intricate totems and things hanging off that banner um, Rich has done a phenomenal job on this pro project, uh, all the miniatures are painted to our gold level here which is akin to box art and uh, you've got the really really amazing amounts of detail work, contrast, shade highlighting and attention to detail that goes into our gold level here at Siege. Um, I do like the little cheeky wristwatch that he's wearing as well plus this fallen sigh on the head. Uh, whether the occupant is still inside or not I don't know but judging by uh, Gaz's claw probably not. Uh, but overall a really awesome model. You can see the little bands and banding there on the hand of that flag all individually highlighted as, highlighted as well which I do really like. Um, I love this little tassel on the end of his little blade as well. I think that's quite cool and the subtle tonal uh, change in highlighting just done on that is uh, is really lovely uh, so that's just this awesome Macari uh, say banner carrier but he's more uh, a totem guy uh, and just incidentally you can see the the uh, the verdigris that's just been done on those copper areas of this uh, this sort of uh, icon as well or Gaz's icon uh, which I do really love so that's just him uh, let's move on to the the biggest and baddest orc in my opinion which is Gaz Gull himself um, again Rich has absolutely blown it away uh, you know, with this model it's just uh, phenomenal in all the work that's gone into it uh, to get it to this super high standard um, so where to start well I think we'll start with the uh, the awesome and really aggressive looking claw that we've got on Gaz um, what uh, I really like about what's been done is that you've got this a really subtle purplish red tinge to the claw uh, and that what I'd like to think is just the staining of blood that's been on that claw for such a long time and prolonged use uh, Gaz has killed many foes and uh, the remnants of which still remain stained on that claw uh, if we move around and just have a look at the facial features to start off with I think um, you've got all the intricate little details of the face the highlighting done on that the teeth the tongue the eyes the bionic eye the cables that are going into the back of his armor uh, uh, even with chevrons on those um, the little stitches all around the neck uh, if we just get that in there so you can see all the, la the little amount of subtle pink uh, highlighting just around those stitches where he's still raw from having his head sewed back on um, you've got the uh, little lights inside the jaw as well just to light him up even those have been picked out and uh, painted uh, moving around you've got these heads and skulls and things just hanging off of his armour um, and the little bits of skin just showing through on his uh, on his trousers uh, I love the red accents on the on the jaw uh, just the, the tonal variation from the base of those those sort of like teeth all the way up to the bright sort of orangey sort of uh, highlights just at the top um, moving around you've got the smoke coming out of his gun as well if you have a look at some of these uh, rivets that are just on the top of the army you'll see like a brownish kind of hint, uh, tinge that's just around those like a little bit of subtle rusting just going on those um, obviously you've got all the little teeth and uh, copper teeth hanging off with all verdigris on those um, if we just look around the back you've got this lovely little light with a lovely subtle transitional bl blend in that as well all the cables all done you've got chevrons on all those cables uh, all the verdigris done on these uh, on these copper areas of the uh, sort of different modules and things of the armor I love this kind of like belt kind of system with the handle as well. I think that's brilliant as if someone, as if uh, Malachi just winds him up, uh, not literally, but uh, but uh, just um, he literally winds him up, both in annoying him probably and also uh, winding his suit up. Uh, the smoke stacks as well with really lovely attention to detail on those. Uh, and we've got the, the my, some of my favourite bits probably are this sort of lovely blend on in these individual sort of red sections here which go on the claw. I do really like that along with all the picking out of the cables and things uh, and all this sort of chevron power cables. And we have a look right up in the back as well just so you can see from underneath but everything is fully painted through multiple stages of highlighting super super crisp finish on this miniature um, and let's get onto the base and have a look at that as well you've got this uh, really lovely I mean it obviously comes with a very much sculpted base um, but Rich has done a great job of uh, just picking out all the skulls and all the other little bits of detail the Primaris head that's just on there uh, the unfortunate fallen brother and uh, all the rocks and everything all individually edge highlighted uh, through various stages just to really give the 
base that super high level quality that we do offer with our gold quality here at Siege. And that is the man, the monster, the legend, Gazgold Thracker himself. I do really hope you like him. Up next, we've got quite a few Orc knobs coming up in Mega Armor and without Mega Armor. Plus, also, we have a cheeky big mech coming up as well. So stick around there coming up next. So up next we've got all of Gaz's boys and there's a great selection of miniatures in this accompanying force to the two great characters that you've seen already. We've got two cheeky little grots uh, which we'll have a look at very shortly, uh, five brutish hulking orc knobs with close combat weapons, uh, two orc knobs in mega armor and then also we've got a big mech with a custom force field. Uh, so a great selection of miniatures. Uh, let's jump in and start with probably the best orcs from this which is going to be the grots. The very cheeky little chaps, we've got this ammo grot here uh drag in an explosive case of ammunition with a big explosion marker on it so any foolish orc doesn't realize that it explodes will know very soon uh, and he's also got a stick bomb as a club which is bigger than him uh, so again uh, a very very audacious little grot uh, great detail work done on this by rich all the teeth eyes and everything all fully painted and highlighted in the nails and things and i do really like right from the get-go and the more pale skin tone that is across this force i think it really suits them quite nicely you can see the muscle structure of the miniatures quite easier and also so it just gives a really nice complementary colour for when you uh, do other colours like red, for example. Um, so that's just this uh, ammo grot here. Next up, probably my favourite and uh, most most loved grot ever is this cheeky little oiler chap with his uh, faithful little squig underarm and um, his little pet. And <laughs> do really like the uh, orangey red kind of colourway on the skin tone of that squig. Again, all the eyes, nails and everything all fully painted on him. You can see the skin tone, all the really that nice power skin tone on this uh, on this uh, sort of grot, and uh, all the little details, the belt buckle, the belt, and everything all highlighted. He's got his uh, overall so it doesn't get too messy, and obviously a wrench hanging down from his waist uh, and uh, a mask as well to protect him. But yeah, really like him. And then let's have a look at these hulking, brutish orc knobs uh, on the right. Uh, so again, really, really awesome models. Uh, we've got this guy here with this double-sided chain axe kind of thing. Uh, he's got a nice uh, pipe into his mouth there, probably having a quick bevy, and. Uh, um, and uh, he's got all these lenses on his uh, bionics done as well. So just a really, really awesome, awesome model. Really hulking brute. You can see the subtle verdigree just done on those copper areas of the miniature, uh, which I do really like. So that's the first one. And you can just see all the pipes and everything fully painted. Um, next, let's have a look at the other chap with the double-sided chain axe kind of thing. Same again. Uh, all the eyes and teeth and everything and gums and lips all fully painted. Uh, I love the little spinny blade on the end, just in case the other one isn't big enough. Uh, you've got the, all the ammunition, um, all the sort of armor on him all highlighted through various stages. Uh, and again a really lovely clean miniature um, let's have a look at the other guy that's got a mishmash of kind of like uh, B&Q's finest disc cutter and uh, some sharp cutlery uh, but again really cool uh, all the piercings and everything all painted and highlighted uh, which I think is quite great um, and you've got all the little attempt, extra close combat weapons and a gun just in case that honking weapon that he's got isn't enough uh, so that's just him uh, and we've got the two guys at the back we've got a guy with a power claw because you couldn't have an orc force without a power claw uh, and again really lovely he's got some missing teeth uh, maybe he's had some stolen or he's not gone to his latest dental appointment but uh, again really really cool model uh, again you can see that skin tone really lovely uh, highlighting done all of that and uh, nice darker deeper recesses and then you've got that lovely highlighting done on the muscle structures um, but again really awesome awesome miniature you see all the claw all sort of highlighted there all the metal work and all the cables and everything done uh, so that's just this uh, this guy here um, the final guy with an axe uh, and giving uh, a little bit of attitude which I do really like it wouldn't be orcs without a bit of attitude you've got this guy here I love the red tabard on him I think it's great uh, and uh, the highlight on that is just exquisite and uh, you've got uh, all of the uh, detail work done on this guy at, you know just to a really really super sharp finish uh, which I do really really like so that's just him next we're going to have a look at the uh, orc knobs in mega armor we'll start by having a quick look at the uh, big mech here again really really awesome model uh, all the screens and 
everything all painted the uh, custom force field generator all done you've got all the uh, attention to detail on the weapons nice verdigris on this sort of cylinder here um and you've got this huge sort of it's a bit strange it's like a like a i don't know like a massive massive sort of uh the thing you see at the uh amusements where it comes down and picks up a soft toy but it's like it's like huge um kind of like a wrench as well so yeah you can see all the cables and everything done there uh all the sh all the sort of uh, checkers and things and this huge custom force field generator with all the cables and everything all painted a lovely blend and a glint and you can see it's just gloss that visor uh as well i do like the um the orc skulls uh sorry, the orc skulls the human skulls hanging down there just nice little amount of attention to detail and i specifically love the little red dial inside there on the weapon i think that's great so that's just the big mech um then we're going to have a look at the um some of the hulking brute orcs in mega armor again they, they look like they've all been shopping down bnq with these great big disc saws but uh really really cool uh models i love the red tusks on these guys just to add that kind of uh colorway that you'd see on all of gaz's uh gaz's sort of uh, boys obviously he's got a red jaw so it's nice to see that rich has picked out a couple of the teeth on this jaw just to add a bit of parity between the two miniatures um and we see all the all the cables and everything all fully done on his armored suit again you've got that lovely subtle bluish verdigris on the copper areas across the model uh, but again a really super clean finished miniature uh, and then the final one this guy's got some bionics and you can see his teeth is uh, kind of uh, grimacing a little bit maybe he's laughing to himself uh, seeing his next victim uh, but you can see that lovely subtle bit of gloss just on that lens on his face uh, and again the same consistency from miniature to miniature so you've got a really precise and consistent force uh, which is something we pride ourselves on here at siege um, and again all the little cables and things all highlighted through various stages and i do like the red and blue used to kind of make them stand out on the rest of the miniature uh, so that's just the final walk knob in mega armor these guys are off now to go and serve gaz as best as they can cause an absolute nightmare for somebody and create the beginnings of possibly a new war so i hope you like them ever so much So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.